Hey, this is Joe Crump, and welcome to uh, my new series of uh, video blogs. Um, I've taken questions, and uh, I'm going to give a bunch of answers to people that have uh, have sent me emails with their questions. Uh, the last time I requested it, which was about a month ago, and I'm finally catching up here. Uh, this first one is from Michelle Wright. Uh, it says, when pursuing pre-foreclosure properties, do you have a script or flowchart of what to say and how to overcome objections? Uh, first of all, I think it's important to, to state here that I don't do pre-foreclosure properties very often. And the reason is because most pre-foreclosure properties have no equity in them. Uh, there's not a way to easily do seller financing with those deals because if they're in the pre-foreclosure system or in the pre-foreclosure process, that means that a notice of default has been filed on them, which means that uh, at least four months has passed with them being late on their payments. So on an average property that's maybe $125,000, uh, with a thousand dollar a month payment, that means they're four thousand dollars a month behind on their payments. Uh, they've also got attorney fees they've got to pay. They've got to pay late fees just in order to bring it current again. So if you paid those fees for them, then you could probably take over their properties and they'd let you have the property. But there's usually no equity in those properties, or it's a very small amount of equity. So pre foreclosures don't make as much sense as as you might think. Uh, now I do have uh, objection handling and uh, scripts and, and processes for the other types of zero down structures that we use and I've got a whole hierarchy of zero down structures. The one that we focus on is what I call the for rent method and essentially all that is is uh, flipping lease option deals, getting control of them and then flipping them to someone else. It makes a lot more sense than taking properties that are in pre foreclosure because we go right after people who have them uh, who are for sale by owner, we've got people that are trying to rent their properties and uh, this solution for them is much easier because uh, they aren't behind in their payments most of the time. So it makes it easier to, to put these deals together for them and uh, it allows you to pull the low-hanging fruit rather than having to go and try to track down people that are in pre-foreclosure. Uh, so many of these pre-foreclosure lists that I've seen in the past, and I've tried to work them, uh, it, it's very difficult to get a hold of them. Sometimes the best way to get a hold of a pre-foreclosure is go knock on their door and try to put the deal together. But then you've got to you've got to find out if they actually have any equity in the deal and, and uh, you got to find out if they're willing to talk to you. And what I've found, and and most of the people that I've worked with that have done this have found uh, when you knock on that door, those people don't answer the door. They're in hibernation mode. They don't want to talk to anybody. They know they're late. Uh, they don't want to talk to another creditor. If, they've got, if they're not paying their mortgage, they're probably not paying their other stuff too, and there's nobody that they really want to talk to. It's very embarrassing when you go through that process. I know this personally when my business crashed back in 19, uh, 1991. Uh, it's not a pleasant experience. So anyway, but I'm saying that it's easier to go after other types of zero down structures from people that are in good standing with their lenders uh, or people that have lots of equity in their property and those usually are not on the pre foreclosure list. So let's get into the um, objection handling and some of the future videos that I've got. I've got actually uh, some people that have sent me emails asking how to handle specific situations and I'll get into that for you as we go along. Of course all this stuff is in my programs as well. All right I hope that helps. Good luck.